Well, it looks like Donald Trump might become president again if you trust the betting markets. While Joe Biden's chances have fallen off a cliff after today's presidential debate. Now, Trump says if he wins, there'll be more tax cuts and he'll intensify his trade war against China and other countries, which could lead to everyone's best friend, inflation, making an unwelcome comeback. Back home, the All Lords went up by a tiny fraction today, while Suncorp was one of the biggest winners after Treasurer Jim Chalmers approved ANZ's takeover of Suncorp's banking division. Though not much happened with ANZ's share price. Meanwhile, Nine Entertainment says it will sack up to 200 of its staff, which sent its share price up because cost cutting generally equals higher profits. A shame about the workers, though. Now, overseas, most of the major share markets went up, while iron ore fell, gold and oil rose, and the Aussie dollar slipped to 66.3 US cents. Now, looking back, it turned out to be a pretty strong financial year for the share market, with the ASX 200 total returns index up more than 12%, while some tech stocks made some huge gains. And the hype over lithium and how much of it is needed for the electric vehicle boom died down in a pretty major way. And finally, the Aussie dollar has been all over the place and it's now back to where it was 12 months ago. Though it's been heading up again lately because the risk of an interest rate hike in the next few months is rising. And that's finance.